We'll keep you on but look top at this. of that one. Here we are. Looky. We are on the red carpet. Yeah. How exciting is this? We do it a little differently, but well. ladies and gentlemen, please, our CW stars, Cameron Fontana, Alisa Henry. Look okay. at them. How Look are you guys doing? Fantastic, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So where were your handlers, though? We can work up. <laughs> right, I yeah, know. Right. They're, They're blocking off. Cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Well, Perfect. good to have you guys back. Yes. Thank you. We love when you dig into all the fashions because <laughs> yes, obviously, look course. at you two. You, are <laughs> you guys are always like stylish and oh, with it. I'm really looking you. sharp and very beautiful as well. I'm going to just try to like make myself rotate right. this way. Push a little bit. away from me. Hey, before we get into the fact, I just have to ask like quickly what you guys think of Neil Patrick Harris as a host? You know, I was okay with him. Um, you know, obviously he's hosted before. Sure. I was disappointed there was no musical number. I feel like that's kind of his thing. I did love the intro. I loved bringing back Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. Right, right, right. Um, All the but hosts. I was okay with him. He wasn't funny enough for me. He's not that funny. I like when they have comedians host. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that he didn't make fun of the celebrities. Like he didn't do anything that made the people at home yeah. kind of like laugh. I mean, I thought that he wasn't that. Huh. I'm They're there to get roasted. He's a good singer, right, right, though. Right. He's a good singer. He is a very good, good singer. He is a good singer. No well, let's, let's talk about the fashions, yes. okay? Please do. Yes. All right, we will start first with <clears throat> Pete's pick. Or picks. Well, in this case, yeah. <laughs> he uh, could be. I see where you're going there. He loved Miss Sophia Vigette. Oh, uh, of course. Yes. <laughs> Couldn't help it. I'm telling you, when she came out in this red dress, and of course a classic red dress, a gown, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but, I mean, wow. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys think? I thought that she didn't have to do her hair because so much else was like exposed. So, but I mean, she looks great. She's she's gorgeous. She always wears that shaped dress. Yeah, yeah. she needs. But it gets more and more. Like I'm just I'm scared of what she's gonna come out with next it's year. It's that Latin <laughs> flair. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. Well, my pick was just kind of off, off the grid, I guess. But Julia Louis Dreyfus. I love oh, her. Yeah. Did you love her dress? I love her. Yeah. It was so cool and classic mm -hmm. and different with all that beading and you know it looked like. Very classy. Yes. Very yeah. classy. I love it. She gorgeous. continues to look great. So those were our picks. Now, Cameron, you had a few of your own. Yes. Uh, my first one is one of my favorite actresses, Kaylee Cuoco. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she was great. rocking a Vera Wing burgundy dress. And you can see right there, it just fits perfect, kind of coming that. from the character she plays. She cleaned up well. I thought that was the perfect dress I for the night. I love that. I my second pick, um, who had a great night for Best Supporting Actress, was Anna Gunn. Oh, um, okay. she had this Ramona Caveza going from kind of the Breaking Bad oh, evil yeah. jeans to breaking out in this awesome dress. I like the two textures. I know Lisa likes pink, so yeah. it's kind of that very faint <laughs> pink, but I thought this looked great. It fit perfect, and that's what I loved about it. I had it. never seen a gown like that before. I thought it was right. really neat. Like, maybe it's just because maybe it is like more of a classic cut than I thought, but your eyes are kind of like drawn the to those, yeah, the angles and the two tone. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know huh. how that was staying up. I bet she has some like great Hollywood tape. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Keeping that up. But yeah, she they looks gorgeous. Blue guns it's all about the, the, right. yeah. the texture. Absolutely. The staples. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, you know, I got to agree with you on your next pick though. Carrie Washington. Oh my gosh. Now I love Carrie Washington. I do too. Mm -hmm. And I was so disappointed she didn't win, but People Magazine did name her the best dressed woman in the world that's last right. week. So that's a lot of pressure oh, for boy. her. That's a lot of pressure, but I think she nailed it in this dress. This really? lived Arcaza, up to the best dress in the world. cream and white dress. Well, what she did, she told USA Today that she saw this on the red. I mean, on the, at New York Fashion Week, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so she said, "I want that dress." So if you want that dress, you can't get it yet because it's not available until spring <laughs> 2014. Grief. What's but that like to be able to do it. that? I, yeah, I saw this in New York Fashion Week. Yeah. I want that. That I want dress. That suit. And then somebody gets it for you. She's right. gorgeous. Her hair, makeup, everything about Kerry Washington is just flawless. I love her. Yeah, so. she's gorgeous. <laughs> but not so much Aubrey Plaza? No. I mean, two words, granny funeral. <laughs> I mean, what is she wearing? It's kind of like she's going to a funeral, but it's kind of see-through. And that choker, I don't understand its colors. And it looks like she has, like, popcorn on her arm. She's like a witch. Yeah, just <laughs> that, that is I was not, not a fan of that. I didn't care you about know what? It actually either. does remind me of um, the Wicked Witch of the West, like in yeah. The Wizard of Oz, when she before she became the witch. Yeah. Yes. You know, when yeah. in the black and white yeah. part of it? Yes. You know, and I, and I skipped over another of your favorites, though, Elisa. I'm sorry. Kit Harrington. Yeah, I had to pick a guy. Because I feel like when you talk about yeah. fashion, we always right. talk about all the women and what yeah, they're wearing. Course, but yeah. he looked great. I mean, he had the three piece tuxedo, yeah. and mm -hmm. his face was clearly shaven. His hair looked nice. I thought that he looked really good. Now, for guys, good, though, you don't so. want to go like too beyond this, though, right? I mean, because well, it's like. All the guys yeah. there were wearing the same outfit. They all had the tux, the, with tux. the white shirt with the bow tie. Right. I mean, they sure. all did. So I like that he kind of went outside a little, little, little bit. bit, but not too yeah. much. Right, not right. too much. Not too much. Great. Okay. Uh, so what was your other bad pick then? Um, you know, Zosha Mamet. And it, to me, it looked oh, like a watercolor the, project <laughs> gone was, horribly yeah. wrong. And it just looks like the ink blotch test. And then it looks like she has a Batman mask. 
you know, <laughs> on the upper area of her dress. Oh, I see that. It doesn't look good. It's like a leather piece. Like, what is that ah. doing there? Mm. You know, but it didn't look good. It looked like a mess. And uh, maybe without the Batman mask, it would have looked good. But <laughs> it just looks weird. Someone just threw ink all over her. What about you, Elisa? Well, one of my picks, which I don't think she was the worst dress. I think that she was just the most disappointing. And that would be Julianne Huff. Now, I love oh. Julianne Huff. I she too. would be gorgeous yeah. if she was wearing a paper bag. Like, honestly, right. Julianne Huff is gorgeous. But... I thought that this dress didn't fit with the tone of the Emmys. Yeah. But it has it pink more in modest. it. Well, yeah, it's I mean, see-through though. It's see-through. Yeah. So like the body yeah. mermaid. Too. And I thought the tone of the Emmys fashion was like more modest, and she didn't really uh, fit in that. She looked like she was getting perform on Dancing with the Stars like right away. Right. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I just didn't think that looked good. But she's she's gorgeous. And show you real quick one other that you thought was kind of. And this doesn't surprise me. Lena yeah. Dunham. Yes. Oh, Lena Dunham. Yeah. Like she that floral dress, and she tweeted about that, saying that her sister looked like her sister told her that she looked like Delia catalog, like made a red carpet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it looked bad. I mean, the black marker outline, the flowers. It didn't. It wasn't flattering. Like a shower. It just wasn't. It wasn't good. I, th I was going to say, I thought I saw that at Ikea. Right. On your grandmother's yeah. couch or something. Something you know? like that. <laughs> now, I got to give it, the geek, real quick, the geek chic okay. award. Okay. Um, who is it? To Canal Nair from Big Bang Theory. Oh, oh Bang. he yeah. rocked the Google Glass. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, so that's total geek chic. You know, everyone's wearing the tux, but I thought that was a really cool thing they did, probably watching TV while Way walking cool. down the red carpet. Yeah, yeah right? Thank you so much. You did your homework. Appreciate it yes. very much. Love it. Thank right. you. Yeah.